Back on the stand, a large crowd gathered again today, hoping to get a seat in court to hear Elizabeth Holmes testify in her own defense. We broke the news when she took the stand on Friday. Today, day two, as the former Theranos CEO worked to convince the jury she did not defraud investors and patients. Here's NBC Bay Area Scott Budman from the federal courthouse in San Jose. Now that everyone knows she'd be on the stand, close to 100 people began to line up in the wee hours of the morning, hoping to get a seat inside the Elizabeth Holmes trial. There's been a lot of media attention, and it's just interesting seeing how everything's playing out. Some, like Serena Gupta, taking a day off work to attend the trial with her mother. Because there's not, not that many female CEOs, um, not that many female entrepreneurs. My mom is a female entrepreneur. As for the testimony itself, Holmes told the jury Theranos had several small victories in the early days, including constructive talks with the Department of Defense and several large pharmaceutical companies. This is going to get super, super complicated very, very soon. Partly because those are the very topics the prosecution used to try and convince the jury that Holmes committed fraud, allegedly lying to investors about the nature of those very relationships. But... If she sincerely and honestly believed that her technology could one day be where it needed to be, then it's going to be very difficult for the prosecution to prove fraud. Which leads us to tomorrow and another likely day of big crowds and another day of the defense team leading its witness through a tale of a scrappy startup Silicon Valley CEO that the jury can keep in their minds through the holiday. In San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News. Thank you.